theme parks in the United States took in $9.6 billion last year, up significantly from 99. And estimates predict summer 2001 profits will grow, too. To keep potential visitors interested, theme parks in Orlando, Florida, keep adding and expanding, hoping you'll choose Orlando as your vacation destination. You're right! Walt Disney World is hoping to tap into the popularity of the hit show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? With their latest attraction, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Play It. Over 600 guests can play for money and prizes throughout the day. This is the most technologically advanced show that Walt Disney World has ever done. Inspired by a South African wildlife preserve, Animal Kingdom Lodge has opened at Disney. It's a six-story deluxe resort surrounded by 33 acres of free-roaming exotic animals like giraffes, zebras, ostriches, and flamingos, all within the guest's vision. Universal Studios Orlando is hoping to tap into the lucrative upscale market. They've added several new luxury hotels, including the Portofino Bay and the Hard Rock Hotel at Universal Orlando. Orlando is really about families, but as many people come to Orlando without families or kids as do. So we think these hotels, particularly Hard Rock, works well for both. SeaWorld Orlando has seen its attendance grow by 11 percent since 99, and no doubt Kraken, the newest, highest, fastest, longest, and only floorless roller coaster in Orlando, is helping attract visitors. You can also feed the dolphins, be splashed by Shamu, and if you wonder what it would be like to be an animal trainer, well now you can be one for a day. SeaWorld Orlando's new Trainer for a Day program lets you shadow a real trainer for eight hours for $349. In Orlando, Florida, I'm Cindy Roselle reporting. In Orlando, Florida, I'm Cindy Roselle, First Business. In Orlando, Florida, I'm Cindy Roselle, All News Channel.